Hey guys, for just let you know pretty quick that Samsung is rolling out a new update to the Samsung Galaxy Note, at least the international version. As you do know, in the States, we have the the AT&T variant that's coming up here. Uh, we got a preview of it on CES 2012 here just a couple of days ago. Uh, but this is the update to the international version. As you see, first of all, they made a change to a lock screen. First of all, okay, 70, 70 megabytes, uh, up, uh, you know, that, that's the size of this update. Uh, but they made a quick little small change to the lock screen. Um, so you can see that, you know, when you when you hold down, uh, you can see where to swipe if you're a retard or if it's just your first time doing it. Or you can go ahead and also they may so you have to swipe like less because, you know, it's a bigger, it's a Galaxy Note, okay, it's, it's a big fat phone, okay. Some people don't even call it a phone, but that's that's kind of retarded. You know, it's called a phone when you can call with it. When you can call with something, it's a phone. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh, but the coolest thing about this update is the keyboard because they uh, made some tweaks to the keyboard. So now you can have like a five row keyboard uh, or wait a sec, one, two, three, four. Yeah, a five row keyboard. Uh, so, you know, on, on the fifth row, they will add the, you know, the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. This is good if you are using the numbers a lot. Um, let's say you are on eBay or something and you're bidding a lot, or, you know, you don't wanna switch all the time to that other mode. You always wanna have numbers up and running. You can go ahead and do so. Now, also what it seems like they have updated here is a new one-hand mode that you can customize. And this is very interesting. This is something that I want to try out. Uh, one-hand mode, so you can customize that to use your Galaxy Note with one hand to type. Now, I should say this, I mean, you can type with one hand, but it would be interesting, you know, to find, you know, a, a bit easier way to, you know, have that keyboard organized to make it easier to type with one hand, like have it more on, on, the, you know, on the right or left side or something like that I don't know yet exactly how it's gonna work out but you know once I get my hands on on that update I'm probably gonna go ahead and check that out but you know that sounds very very interesting uh, to be you know be able to go ahead and do that so yeah that is a kind of cool that you know that 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 is the big things uh, let's see here I kind of found something in more Oh yeah, we have a new like torch widget as well. So uh, <laughs> if you want to use, uh, you know, your phone as a torch, you know, as a flashlight, you know, just use the flash on the back, you know, on, on of the camera, uh, then you will have an app for that. Uh, but of, of course, there are all, 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 all already, you know, apps that you can go ahead and download from the Android Market Store that will do the same thing. Uh, but yeah, still kind of you know nice that they will have that uh, installed because that's something that's used a lot, you know, when you go outside, at least me. Uh, and then also there, it seems to have some new kind of settings for the brightness uh, in your browser. Um, yeah, the default browser, of course. As I said, there's 70 megabytes and over the air updates. Um, probably gonna make a video about it once I can get my hands on it uh, and show it to you, but I can't do it right now. But yeah, that's interesting. See.